But there's some people, it's got nothing to do with switching it up. They don't feel comfortable without getting in front of the camera looking their best. I don't give a fuck about that stuff, man. It's all about what's coming out of my mouth. What's man listening to? Yeah? Like, there's certain men and girls, and it's cool. They'll look at the video quality and say, yeah, the video quality is shit, yeah? Especially on the laptop. Maybe on the phone, not so much, but I've had someone say the video quality on the phone is quite shit. But definitely on the laptop, the video, video quality is not that good. Now, this, this angle here will be better because the light is better in this room. Same laptop, yeah, but the light is better. Whereas in the kitchen, which is behind me, uh, I know it's when I watch the playbacks, because of the angle, my face is really dark, so it makes the camera quality look shit. Anyway, there's certain people, they talk about the camera quality being shit and that, but bro, it's not about the camera quality, you know? It's about what man's saying, yeah? Like, I don't even need people to be watching me. Just listen to what I'm saying. Like, there's certain man I watch on YouTube. I don't even watch them on YouTube. I literally play their video, put the thing on the side, and just listen to them whilst I'm doing what I'm doing. Might be doing some housework. I might be cooking or whatever in it. Yeah? Not when I write my book because I need to be focused and I can't, fun I can't focus properly when I've got someone talking in the background. If I've got like a, a song on, which is quite low or an instrumental, that's all right. But not when I'm trying to listen to what someone's saying. I can't listen to what someone's saying on a YouTube video and edit my book at the same time. What quad man like Brandon? We say it, man. Yeah, so, um, yeah, it's all about what a man's saying. And obviously, the camera quality and that, yeah, having good camera quality is not going to, well, so it's only going to make things a little bit better, but it's not the be on end all. But I get what certain, man, certain people say about the camera quality and that. There's some people, they don't watch videos where they've got shit camera quality. But for me, it's all about, like, what, what the person's saying. Yeah. That's, well, go on, man. That's the main thing. You could have a fancy restaurant. Nice sign outside. Yeah. Man playing a fucking saxophone inside. All them things there. Yeah. Nice uh, placemats and all them things there. If the food is shit, nobody gonna come back. Yeah? Or if the food is overpriced, nobody gonna come back. Unless you're like these people who... They specifically go to places like Gauchos, Lockham, uh, Tarshish and that, just to say they've been there. These places, I can only speak for Lockham and Tarshish because I've been there. I haven't been to Gauchos or, uh, what is it, Shaka Zulu and what's it, Har Hakasan or whatever. I, I ain't been to those places, isn't it? Yeah, but I just assume they're the same, but I can speak for Tarshish and Lockham. Yeah, the food is nice, yeah. I don't, I'm not saying the food is shit, but that food shop... That Turkish Mediterranean food is no better than Curvan or Capital Restaurant, yeah, in Edmonton, yeah, or fucking, uh, what's it called, uh, Gokuzu in, in, in Wood Green, yeah, it's all the same, it's just people go there to take pictures. If those same places had all of like, you know, that, the kind of thing behind it, like, oh yeah, it's the place to go, whatever, and, those places will be booming as well, and they are, yeah, at the moment, like places like Curvan and these cheap Mediterranean places, cheap Turkish places, they get a lot of business, yeah, because the food is good. The food is good. You can have all these nice uh, restaurants and all that, all these, yeah, all these fancy stuff. If the food is shit, no one's going to return. There's people I watch on YouTube, big YouTubers, they will shout out or they will leave a link or mention someone in their YouTube channel, yeah, in, on their video. They could be talking about another YouTuber. They will say, oh, go subscribe to this person's channel. I ain't gonna go and subscribe, but I'll have a look. I take one look at this person's channel, look at their content, it's not for me. And then I just straight back to the other person. Yeah? I don't even, don't even remember about that other person. Yeah. So, and that's the same, like, I could get bigged up by Drake or someone like that, right? And Drake could say, oh, everyone go to uh, JY's TV and check it out. Now, he will draw a lot of traffic to my channel and yeah, I'll get tons of subscribers and stuff. But if my content ain't appealing to a certain people, yeah, yeah, they might subscribe, but are they going to return? And it's the same thing with the shadow ban. Oh, look, we're back now with another shadow ban talk. 
If your content isn't that good, people are not going to return. Yeah? You could have 80,000 subscribers. I've seen it. Do your research. Yeah, you Feel free to look off this live stream right now and look at certain people's subscriber count and they have 80,000 subscribers. But the last 10 videos over the last, or the last few videos over the last 10 months have only got five or 6,000 views because their content might not be that good. Mm -hmm. People aren't returning on a regular basis. People might have subscribed, but they're not returning on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. You don't want to have a business where you get one customer in. Imagine I'm an electrician. I get one customer in and they never call me back. Yeah? And this is someone who they're always doing little bits and pieces to the house. And you know that they probably will call you back. If you get if I get a customer and I do a job for this person, right, and they never call me back like within the next five years then maybe the job I did weren't that good or maybe I overpriced them or something like that. If you're getting people in, but they ain't retaining, you ain't holding them, that's an issue. That's an issue. So all of this business... <laughs> yeah, nice one, nice one, nice one, Nadia. Yes, Nadia. Yeah, so, so uh, all of this business is about um, all this shadow band business, right? If you ain't retaining people, that's... You know, there's an issue right there. If you're not retaining people, if people aren't looking for you, yeah, like there's people out here, right? They will say, oh, um, you know, YouTube hasn't uh, notified my subscribers or anything like that of my new content. Right? But if you release videos on a regular basis, right? So, for example, you release three videos in the week, and you're consistent. You do that for months on end, right? And then there goes a two week period when none of your subscribers have seen any of your videos pop up. They should really and truly go looking, yeah? If the only time your subscribers know about you or think about you is when you pop up, then you might not be, you know, like one of their favorite YouTubers or anything like that. You, we might not be the, the best, the, what they regard as the best entertainment. Yeah, they should be thinking, like, oh, rah, like, see, man's in the comment section, oh, saying, oh, it's been a minute, whatever, innit? Man, I'm thinking, oh, shit. Yeah, if he didn't even look, man, like those today, let me upload the Ras Club comment. See, you know, Ras Club top one. Yeah, he said, Oh, it's been a minute. Yeah, that means that, oh, maybe four or five days has passed, or whenever it was our last minute video. Like, oh, I, I ain't heard from Jay Wags. Well, go on for my man, innit? Yeah, if he didn't even remember a Batman, you'd oh, you know, oh, yeah, he's back, whatever. And he won't even think he's back. It's just, oh, I didn't even notice he was gone. I didn't even notice he was gone. Yeah. So yeah, shout out man like fucking, well not fucking, but shout out man like Dosa David, man. Come on fam. Man like so, 